Hello, welcome to the Clockwork 42 channel. My name is Benjamin. Today, I'm unboxing the Farland Toys Classic Spawn. This is the figure from the Kickstarter campaign last year. It just came in the mail, so I'm diving right in. And we're going to get a first look at this together. First thing I want to say about this figure is that I knew what to expect going in. One, the Farland Toys. Two, I followed the campaign on Kickstarter. Take a quick look at the box outside and we'll dive in a bit deeper. Nice looking package. A lot goes into the presentation. But my dramatic unveiling fails the foam avalanche. So right away we got some goodies. Certificate of Authenticity and a comparison checklist comparing it to the original figure. Looking at the package, it's pretty plain, save for a couple stickers on the front. I'm not going to waste any time. Crack that bad boy open and bust out the comic. I did flip through this briefly. The reprint of the first issue with director's commentary from Todd McFarlane throughout. That's pretty cool. And that's what we're after. So this is a collectible figure. Not an action figure by my definition, but it's unique, it's different, and it's a nice piece to have in the collection. We get some accessories, we get some posability. A little bit of a struggle to get them out. And once we get them there, we start having fun. As you can see, he stands up easily with his cape supporting him. And throughout the video, you'll see that. We do get a stand included, but it's not necessary. Same quality and style of stands that you see from other McFarlane figures. The same can be said about the accessories. Nice details, sculpt, but there is some slight warping. Nothing I can't fix. But we'd like to see that improve in the future. Look at the necroplasm effect. That's pretty cool. But the sword, my favorite piece. Nice detail going down the blade. Skull on the hilt. Wrapped handle. Same on both sides. Spawn logo on the tip. And this is nice and straight, so that's good. To equip that, we're just going to pull off the pommel, slide it into one of his gripping hands. He has three sets of hands total, matching right and left for holding the sword holding the gun, and the spawn-style hands. That's the only name I could come up with for them. To, to equip it, just pull the peg out, and slide the other one in, and he holds it no problem. And we can achieve some poses. A lot of those are going to be restricted to standing, but again, this is a collectible figure, not a highly posable action figure. Necroplasm effect looks really good when the light hits it. Has a natural glow to it. Same with his eyes. Look really nice. Surprise behind the cape. He can hold his weapons. He can look good all day long. Looking at the articulation briefly. Very similar to the DC Multiverse and Fortnite and Mortal Kombat figures. Again, it's knowing what to expect with McFarlane toys. But this does feel of a higher quality than those lines. Spawn is Todd McFarlane's baby, so there will be some extra attention paid to it.
Looking at some more articulated features on the figure in the arms. A lot of what is considered, you know, the modern standard. It moves really well. But like I said, the cape will restrict what you can do with him. Not that you can't have fun posing him. But for me, having more freedom of movement makes a figure more fun. I'll flip them around here, take a look at the back of the cape, and see if we got more painted details. Nice texturing. The hinge doesn't stand out too much. And there you see it can fold all the way back. It gives him a slimmer profile on the shelf. And returning to the articulation on the legs, we do have an added point on the right leg, just below the pouches there. I don't feel it adds or detracts from anything with this figure. It's there. It's functional. Do we need it? That's debatable. It is nice that they're considering options like that, though. Once again, however you pose him, he'll stand. Well, almost. Swapping heads is easy. You just pull it off the neck peg and place the other one on. A lot of nice details with this. I like the paint inside the mouth. Eyes really, really pop. And gory detail down to the bone. Can't deny this is a good looking figure. He can hold the weapon with both hands. Show you the opposite side. A little bit tedious, but it can be done. I know that's not the strongest pose, but his arms are a bit restricted with the cape over the shoulders like that. Not a figure you can pick up and play with like the MK11 spawn, but it is poseable and it does look great on the shelf. Quick comparison, you see obvious costume differences, slight height difference. MK11 Spawn has a glossy finish, whereas Classic Spawn is more matted. And these can't be compared directly, even though they are both McFarlane toys. They don't share all the same features. One you can pick up and pose around play with on a daily basis. One can look pretty on the shelf collecting dust for a couple years. Nothing wrong with that. And just dust it once in a while. And of course, accessories are very compatible with MK11 Spawn. But I like this figure. It's probably going to be a box baby just to keep it preserved. Now it's not a figure I can pick up every day, but I'll pick them up once in a while, pose them around, try and take some shots, change the lighting, change perspective. You can have some fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.